Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is a 19H1 build Build 18267 This is pretty early in the development stage So there's not a huge amount of changes In, um, in, with, in terms of features But we are starting to introduce some new things um, For example This has Vietnamese uh, Telex and number based keyboards Available on the PC So if you write Vietnamese then uh, Microsoft have got you covered. So uh, have a look at the, the blog post that uh, accompanied this and on the digitallifestyle.com because that will um, show you if you're interested in that. But there are more symbols now available on the touch keyboard. So let's have a look at that. So if you go to the touch keyboard and you tap that button there, you'll see all the extra keys. So there you can see the extra keys on there. So we've got a lot of extra touch uh, options on there. Look at all those. So good to see those. They are often it's often really handy when you use a touch keyboard and the the key that you want isn't there. So yeah, it's good to see that those are there. There's some accessibility improvements as well. And the narrator works better with Chrome. It's got the Braille uh, 5.6 support and a couple of UI frameworks. Now, a setting in search has changed. Let's have a look. So the new setting is instead of just searching through documents, pictures, and videos, you can now have this enhanced mode, which is the new setting. It takes about 15 minutes for it to to start indexing, and then it searches your system and you'll be able to find almost anything instantly Microsoft say when you use Windows search you can exclude folders if you don't want it to exclude folders you can add you can add them here but other than that I think it should search the whole system uh, very interested to see how well that works I find search you can never quite find what I what I need to find so uh, I'm definitely going to give this a try and maybe on the next video I'll report back to see how, how that's working so I'll let you know So the settings they fixed um, the where this, they fixed the settings when the other general fixes include fix where settings would crash some IRQ errors um, with green screens of death action center might appear in the wrong place um, some jump lists not showing correctly um, and they fix some endpoints not being able to switch so that's where you couldn't switch from one device to the other see that arrows there so now you can. Um, so the, there's a number of fixes, but I include a full list of those on digitallifestyle.com. There's nothing too major. There are some known issues. Task view fails to show the plus foot button on new desktops when you're creating when you're on the virtual desktops. Sometimes when you go into settings and you're checking for a new build, then um, it will show an error number between getting things ready, downloading, installing, and it sort of cycles between them. Um, this is the, that's a known issue. I haven't seen that yet, but. Um, that's definitely not an issue. If you change task manager settings the next time, task manager will open back to the default. And there's some uh, issues around uh, OTF fonts. So that's it, that's all the main changes. The search index will be interesting to see how well that works. I'll give that a try. And uh, you can find more on the digitallifestyle.com, at ISDixon on Twitter, and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.